Hello internet family, Dan A from DanceTube.tv and today I've got my comparison between the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic Air. Now they are both available right now on Amazon, I will have the link in the description below. The Mavic 2 Pro with the Fly More bundle and DJI Care is just over 2000 US dollars and then the Mavic Air is 927 US dollars and that's for the Fly More bundle. So I will have those links below but that is just just over a thousand dollars of difference between the two drones. Now let's get into what makes them different and which drone you should pick up if you're in the market for a new Mavic drone. The Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic Air do share some similarities, but then there are some drastic differences between these two drones here. Now, I do have a before you buy the Mavic 2 Pro and a before you buy the Mavic Air on my channel, two separate videos that I will have linked below in the description. Honestly, if you are thinking about picking up either one of these drones, then definitely make sure to check out those videos as well as I go into a lot of detail on each specific drone. In this video today, I'm just going to go through all of my experiences. I'm going to tell you the key differences and then I'll give you a prediction or a verdict based on what your needs are for a drone. The first thing I want to discuss is the design of these two drones. Now seeing as they're both Mavic drones, it means they have that signature folding design. So they're both very compact little drones and perfect for travel. Now I think the Mavic Air has the edge here if you're looking for a travel companion. The Mavic Air is significantly smaller, it also makes less of an impact, it's less noisy when you take off, meaning that you have less eyes on you. The Mavic 2 Pro is still an an extremely portable drone that would be perfect for any sort of travel adventure but I definitely think that the Mavic Air is a lot more portable and easier to take with you when you go on some sort of adventure but you have to keep in mind the battery life. So the Mavic Air only has a flight time of 21 minutes. That is the max flight time and it's definitely an over exaggeration because you've got to remember you will have the warnings and you will definitely have to land your drone before 15%. Like well and truly you should probably be landing at about 20%. Um, so just make sure that you keep that in mind because you probably only get about 18 minutes of flight time, maybe 17 to 18 minutes. Now the Mavic 2 Pro has a flight time of 31 minutes and that's its max flight time. So again, you probably only get about 27, 28 minutes, but still significantly better than the Mavic Air. So in terms of flight time, the Mavic 2 Pro has definitely won this one. Moving on to the video capabilities of these two drones here. Now on paper, they sound very similar. They can both shoot 4K 30 frames per second. I really was expecting the Mavic 2 Pro to have 4K 60 FPS, but we only got the 30 FPS, unfortunately. So on paper, they look very similar. They also both shoot 1080p at 120 frames per second. But the major difference here is the actual sensor, the camera that each drone is using. So the Mavic 2 is using a Hasselblad 1 inch sensor with adjustable aperture, where the Mavic Air has a significantly smaller sensor and it has a fixed aperture. So even though on paper they sound very similar, you're going to be able to get a lot more out of the Mavic 2 Pro. You can also shoot in 10-bit on the Mavic 2 Pro. You can shoot this 10-bit footage in either the D-Log mode or the HLG mode, or you can just shoot in the normal color profile. Now one thing that really gives the Mavic 2 Pro the edge is the color science that Hasselblad is known for. The image just pops and has a lot more richness to the image. There are so many more varied colors throughout the scene and you can definitely notice it over the Mavic Air. Now the Mavic Air you can shoot in the normal mode or you can shoot in the D cine like mode. This is actually quite a good mode or quite a good color profile D cine like and then you can adjust the color style as well but definitely in terms of image, the Mavic 2 Pro has the edge here with the one inch sensor and the adjustable aperture. Both the Mavic Air and the Mavic 2 Pro are capable of shooting 4K 100 megabit per second video files, which is honestly amazing and something that you really want on a drone. So both of them have their great points, but the Mavic 2 Pro has that 10 bit D log M and 10 bit HDR video, plus that massive one inch sensor allowing a lot more light into the image. So 
I just think that the Mavic 2 Pro has definitely won the camera section of this comparison. I did recently release two brand new drone pilot shirts in my clothing store. So because you're watching this video right now, I will give you a 10% off link in the description below for either one of these shirts here. So if you know anyone that loves drones or if you love drones, then definitely check out these shirts and you will save 10% with the link below. Both of these drones are capable of taking HDR photos. The Mavic Air can only only capture 12 megapixel photos though, while the Mavic 2 Pro can capture 20 megapixel photos, and the photos definitely look a lot better on the Mavic 2 Pro. So I think again for this portion, in terms of just the overall camera and the quality of the image, the Mavic 2 Pro has taken this one as well. One of the biggest differences between these two drones, and probably one of the biggest deciding factors, would be the video transmission or the range that you get from the drone itself. So the Mavic 2 Pro is using OcuSync 2.0, which is definitely significantly better to what the Mavic Air is using. With OcuSync 2.0, you get an 8km range with a massive 1080p live video feed to your phone, which is remarkable and something that I've absolutely been loving. Now, the Mavic Air uses an advanced Wi-Fi technology, so you can definitely bump into some interference, and it also means that you're limited to either 4km or 2km of range, and that just depends on the region that you're in and it depends on what Mavic Air you pick up. And the Mavic Air only receives a 720p live view, which is still something you can work with and it's not bad by any means, but the Mavic 2 Pro has definitely won this portion. One thing that I've noticed about the Mavic Air is that birds seem to take a liking to the drone and they seem to swoop it quite a lot and they seem to play with it quite a lot. Now the Mavic 2 Pro doesn't seem to have that issue. It has a lot more of a larger presence in the air and birds don't seem to get in the way. But saying that, I do feel like the Mavic Air is the most enjoyable drone to fly out of the two. Maybe if you're taking it for a bit of a longer flight then the Mavic 2 Pro with its more reliable connection would be the better option. But in terms of just my enjoyment while flying both of these drones, I seem to have a lot more fun with the Mavic Air. I don't know whether it's because it's a smaller drone, it's more agile in the air, it can move a lot faster and it's a lot quicker when it's turning and when it's maneuvering through random tight little areas. I seem to really enjoy the Mavic Air in that aspect. So again it comes down to personal preference and what you will actually be using the drone for. The Mavic 2 Pro has omnidirectional obstacle sensing, which means that it has sensors basically everywhere on the drone. So this drone is a lot more reliable and a lot more alert of its environment compared to the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air only has the three directional environment sensing, but they both do a relatively decent job. Just the Mavic 2 Pro has that higher end obstacle sensing. Also another thing to note is when it comes to the flight modes, the different intelligent flight modes, the Mavic 2 Pro does have a few more flight modes. It has the hyperlapse option, and then it basically has everything that the Mavic Air has. And obviously you have those improved options with the different camera settings. Um, but both of them actually have quite a nice selection. And the Mavic Air actually has the perfect selection of options for most users out there. Um, and honestly, this really does come down to personal preference. Everything that I've gone through, I have seemed to lean slightly more towards the Mavic 2 Pro, just in terms of its capabilities and what it has to offer. But honestly, I think for most users, the Mavic Air is perfect. It's everything you would want in a drone. It's portable, it has a great 3-axis gimbal, it has 4K 30 frames per second, it has a decent connection, a decent flight time, a lot of different flight modes, and it's a fun little drone, and you also save over a thousand dollars. But the Mavic 2 Pro is that little stage above. You get a lot more options when it comes to playing with the image. You get 10-bit uh, video options. You get the hyperlapse option. You have a one-inch sensor with adjustable aperture. So the Mavic 2 Pro definitely takes the cake if you are a professional drone pilot. But again, it comes down to personal preference and it really depends on what you want to use this drone for. Honestly, they're both fantastic drones and I think you would enjoy whatever drone you're gonna pick up. So thank you so much for watching. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. And that's it. Make sure to have a fantastic day. Peace out.